Welcome to the slightly delayed episode 3 of my AER Memories of Old playthrough. Now, I say slightly delayed because I intended on recording this 2-3 to three days ago and kind of forgot, but that's kind of aside from my point. I, I made my way back over to the vault, which you can see here, because it's kind of relevant to start here, because it makes my uh, kind of goal for progression for this episode easier. Of course, I had to look back on the previous episode when I finished editing so I could tell exactly where I was supposed to be going. Because in the dialogue, it explained that I read that and I forgot immediately. I have very bad memory. Aside from that, of course, here's a quick recap from the previous episode for those who didn't watch it. I would also super highly suggest uh, watching the previous episode, or, or no, the first episode before watching this one because it would just make more sense. Southwest of here is a temple. The silhouette of the setting sun. You will find more answers there. Go now. Bird faster than Medvin. Secrets await you in the deep. Seek counsel from the ones who slumber. Okay, so I didn't understand any of that, but I can tell that you're following me and you're working for someone who's trying to spy on me. Isn't that right? Because I have no proof and I don't know where I'm going with this sentence. I'm out of here. Now, of course, if you may have heard me read it or read it yourself, there's a temple southwest from the vault. So I'm going to have to go and look for that. Although I'm not specifically sure how far southwest, I want to guess that it's around the islands over there. So I'm going to fly over here and find out. This looks like a temple if I've ever seen one. Haven't I been here before? I feel like I've definitely been here. Is this even the temple that I'm supposed to be looking for? So I'm going to continue flying southwest, unless this is the literal bounds of the map, because it doesn't seem like anything's out there. Uh, okay, so I exit the bounds of the map, I'm back at Twilight Lake. So that means I'm definitely supposed to be here. Unless... No, I'm pretty sure this was earlier in the game I did something here. Oh. Open temple. This is probably where I'm supposed to be going. Um, I have no clue. But regardless, uh, may as well. Oh, there's some, uh... Ghost... Skeleton-ish people? Can I fly? Because I'd rather fly. <laughs> okay, I'm making a bad mistake. Oh, loading. So maybe flying wasn't a terrible idea. Admittedly, because it's a loading sequence, I probably could have jumped down there to save a bit of time, but then again, it's not like this is a speedrun, so it's not very important to save time. In fact, this is more than a long play. I've taken way too long to figure out simple things I'd imagine. It's only gonna get worse. Okay. You know these people always like still kind of creep me out. I don't know why or how but they just always do. So I believe that is the way it came in from so going over that way would be a uh, loading sequence back up. Anyways, this guy's saying we made it. We, I'm the only one here, unless you're talking about them. Oh, we'll be safe here. Yes, I sincerely guarantee that. This place looks very structurally safe. Very structurally safe. <laughs> now, I gotta figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Because this place, like I said, very structurally safe. Unless the intention is that it's not structurally safe. But that probably means it's not safe either. What does this say? The Twilight Guardian opened her eyes at the, at the light of the sun and moon shining together. That's, 
Okay. Uh, she sat down and calmly took both in her sky hands, <laughs> bringing balance to light and shadow. With her right hand, she releases the sun to let people back from the dream. With her left, she flings the moon into the night sky so that people may dream all, all, at all. God, I can't read. <laughs> uh, she is the heartbeat of the seasons, at the center of the world, the breath of life and order. Okay, this is definitely the temple. This is the temple if I've ever seen one. Not the other quote-unquote temple that I was looking at earlier. Fish. Okay, that's unrelated. I think I, I think that's just wasting time. Man has paws that cannot run, but chases longingly the sun. Man has wings that cannot fly, but he will always seek the sky. What kind of poem is that? I'm not gonna read the rest. I want to imagine I'm supposed to go here because of this glow. But at the same time, that could be anything. Oh, that's just a crack in the, the roof. Oh! And I can't be bird. Oh wait, these are these are activated by me jumping or walking near them, so actually I think I should be holding the lantern right now, so let me just take that back out. <laughs> I get not only sidetracked very easily, but I do stupid things very easily and forget that I'm supposed to be doing things properly. But regardless, I feel like it's a bit more entertaining for me. Okay, I noticed that down there. I don't know if that's uh, super, super useful. Because I feel like I walked past that, and I don't know if we should be going upstairs before or after doing this. Oh no, wait, I think I was here earlier. Or down there, at least. Because that the marking on the floor there and... Some things look pretty similar, but I mean, I can't tell. Okay, that thing's ripped. I think that's like a banner kind of thing. I have no clue what it is, to be honest. Okay, what am I doing? I see that over there, so I think I should be... I mean, uh, these, these are definitely puzzle related, but I don't know if they're important now. Because these definitely seem like they'd be important uh, later. Or at least in a moment or two from now. Although I really want to know what that does. Now, without, be, without being able to become a bird, I need to try to figure out how to get back there. Which, I don't know if I can without repeating the whole cycle of how I got here. Because I, I think I've been down there. If not, I could have been down there. If not, I don't know where that really leads to, if anything. So what I might do, unless this just leads down there, might do is try to find out if I can get back the way it came from. But I feel like this leads back there. I guess I'm just gonna find out because this looks like a sewer system. <laughs> oh, there's a sun and a moon here. And seemingly important. Oh. Wait. Oh, I think I see. I think I see what I need to do. Unless, no. Or, I think um, each and every single one of these has a different rotation. Oh. Oh, now, now I see. So for a quick uh, explanation. See, this, this one can kind of go over the 
a lit up area on the wall but it goes over to a kind of corner area while this one back here uh, can only rotate to a corner so I believe I can just yep there it is so th I guess this whole puzzle is kind of connecting these and I was just in that room and now I can see that those were useful for puzzles later I want to imagine those also rotate something so I'm gonna head back up there so that's what I just connected through uh, that part of the wall that just opened into this pillar which now these are lit up and because those are lit up I can now use uh, this and the one the matching one over there so now I need to figure out what these do <laughs> that was easy I, I literally pressed one button after uh, after activating it okay that was that was intensely easy like I'm I'm mad how easy that was because that seemed that seems uh, easier than some of the other puzzles considering that the other ones had a as far as I'm aware something kind of to them whereas that one is just like if you rotate this enough it will work that's great um, regardless now where am I going so I think I'm just gonna go wander around like this because I feel like this is definitely where I should be going unless that I just walk past the platform because I know I need to get to that platform there and oh wait I want to take a guess that uh, I have to do something somewhere in this area that will rotate this bridge back uh, the way it was originally so I can access not only that platform but so I can come from that way. That's just a guess. If I'm right then I'm not going to be surprised considering that's how that bridge was rotated originally. Okay so just looking at mushrooms because I get sidetracked easily. I really want to climb it. Like, is that possible? No, I just slide off of it. Oh no, I'm stuck. Okay, thank god. <laughs> if I got stuck there, I would have been so mad having to reset progress. Because I don't even know when the last checkpoint was. If there was one at all recently. But, because if anything, I might have to restart from my save point. I don't think this is useful. Oh! No, it is useful. Before I activate this, I want to look at these. It seems as if this door has been stuck for a very long time. Wonder if there even is anything on the other side. You know, this door is not only stuck because of all, all of this blocking it, but I can already tell that there's no way someone's going to clear this out because of how large everything is. You'd have to use like some kind of explosive device or or advanced mining device. I have no, I have no clue. Because I'm not an expert with any of this stuff. I'm just trying to be funny. <laughs> with terrible jokes. Let me guess. Rotating the bridge. Just as I guessed. Except, uh, the only thing is, I kind of guessed the opposite in a way. Because I was guessing I would go somewhere up there to get there to rotate the bridge. But I guess I'd rotate from there. And then go here. I mean, doesn't really matter. Because I feel like this episode was more progress than both episode 1 and 2 combined somehow. Oh. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Huh. This place looks interesting. Oh, wait. Is there a part 1 here? I'm Kara of the Thunder Islands. I had a strange dream that I will record here so that many so that others may perhaps understand its meaning as I did. I had come to, I had come to study the holy carvings in the lighthouse in the land of gods, trying to understand our heritage. As I reached out to touch some of the runes that if it suddenly felt as if a warm hand passed over my eyes, I fell asleep on the sacred stone. In my dream it seemed to me that the stone beneath me glowed from within forming a staircase up to the starry sky. Far away on these steps, a golden light 
grew, grew, grew and drew close. Stars flew from the sky and became someone who had the, who had the shape of music and was gentle and sad. What does that sentence mean? Okay. The God spoke to me not in words, but in memories and feelings. He warned me of a terrible greed from beyond, a void in the hearts of men. As he showed it to me, I felt stir and come between us, darkening and darkening the golden steps like a storm cloud, cold as eternity. Terrified, I cried out to the pull of this dark void, and I woke. I could not speak for three days, but I set out. But I set out to the ancient temples immediately. What if what I had is seen is true? The gods are alive, and they need our help as we need theirs. Oh, is this uh, Kara? Dang, I hope you don't mind the. Yeah, I, or is this just a sculpture of her? Regardless, I hope if you're Kara, I hope you don't mind that I stole the uh, lantern and I don't intend on returning it anytime soon. Going this way now, because I'd imagine I should be around here. Was I here before? Yeah, no, I definitely recall reading that. Come on, I've been here before. Unless I'm supposed to just make it to the exit at this point. Because that could very easily be a possibility. I recall going down stairs that looked very similar to these. Okay, okay. I'm, I, th I definitely think, because I kind of looped back to the entrance, that I should be going back to where I kind of came from. If I can even figure out where that is. Because that's kind of a confusing thing. Uh, I don't remember where I came in from, and I also don't remember how I get out. Although those, are, those two are the exact same. Regardless, um, I think it's this way. Yeah, this looks very familiar. I'm gonna make my way out uh, through here. And hopefully that was all I was supposed to do here. Because if not, I'm gonna be partially confused. Yes, this is all looking familiar. This was definitely the way it came from. Now, I wanna kind of take a guess that I'm gonna see possibly a talking animal. Just like I did uh, in the previous episode, leaving the vault. But at the same time, I doubt that because I feel like that wasn't all I was supposed to be doing in that temple. And... No, I actually don't think that was all I was supposed to be doing in there. I think I'm supposed to go back in there. You know what, I'm just going to save that for the next episode because I'm actually partially annoyed, but at the same time I feel like I've been recording for too long. 